happens that if a woman pulls away from you, it's not to punish you. It's not to teach you a lesson. It's because something has truly changed. Like something is wrong. This ain't one of those. She putting you in the dog house. Like, man, get rid of all of that early 90s, late 80s relationship thought process, whatever. No, this, this is not how today's women work. They do not pull away and withdraw because you just did something bad and they need you to feel the pain. If a woman pulls away from you, it's completely different than if we pull away from a woman. You see, we try to understand women like they're us. You know, when we pull away, oh, we just want, we want to uh, be passive aggressive. We want to teach her a lesson. We want to make her jealous. We want to make her mind wander. Not all of us, of course, but I'm just saying as a man, that's typically why we might pull away from a woman. Whereas with a woman, if you know, like I know, they are all in. If, they, if a woman loves you, bro, she's all in. Her mind, her body, everything. So the same thing goes for whenever she says, you know what, I got to take that back. If a woman starts to withdraw and pull away from you, more than likely, everything else is going to. And the only reason why I say this is because, first off, let me just kind of back up. Yesterday, we, did, we had a conversation about, um, basically, no woman should be struggling if she's laying up every night beside a grown-ass man. Excuse my language. Dude hit me up. He saw the master class afterwards. He had a question, and I don't care who it is. If you watch one of my master classes, you stay to the end. I read your question. Most times, I'm going to be able to get to it. So he had the question. was like, hey, man, I think what you hit on from social media on into the master class about impasse and stuff may be telling me why my woman is now pulled away because she's struggling, and I've left her to struggle by herself. Maybe she's pulling away to try and teach me a lesson about that. And I think he had good intentions. Let me just be very clear. But again, for any man who's watching this, whether you just come into the page or a woman on here didn't share it so all the men that she knows can watch this, I need you to understand, that's not why she pulled away. There's a few reasons. I would say about five reasons why a woman may pull away from you. And none of them is because she wants to be spiteful 90% of the time. Because a woman that pulls away is actually, it's actually a very painful process. I don't know how many women watching this right now can vouch for this or tell me if I'm tripping now because I've been doing this over a decade, but I could be wrong. But if you ever had to pull away from a man, that wasn't something that you thought you would have to do whenever you first fell in love or you first opened yourself up to him. You first started investing in it. That wasn't something you was planning on doing. In fact, the whole process of you getting to that point of pulling away was very painful for you. If I'm speaking facts, let me know I'm speaking facts. Put facts down in the comments, ladies. If I'm speaking facts, or if I'm not, let me know I'm not. You see, with men, we're more compartmental. We can, we can have love and then pull it away. We can do all of these different things. The same way a lot of men say, well, I, I had sex with her, but I didn't care about her. Like, women typically are much more interwoven and they're wiring. So they're not going to do this whole, like, oh, one part of you can be here, one part of me is here. They don't do that. It, it, it's not common anyway. So if a woman pulls away from you wrong, you got to understand something went drastically wrong. But let me go. Let's just start from the, the lightest. We'll go from the lightest, the least common reason why a woman may pull away from you as a man to the most common. The first one may be because something in your self-care is lacking. Now, again, very superficial, very surface level, but I want to get it out there because I don't think enough of us as men are acknowledging that our self-care matters. There's too many of us that get comfortable with a woman and we think we can just come home after a long day and we ain't even washed that good the night before. We ain't got nothing tamed down there. We want her to do all of these nasty things to us, but we nasty in the wrong way. We nasty in terms of not scrubbing and, and putting. We, we ain't taking care of stuff. You got that same bath rag up there. You ain't changed out or washed in three months. You ain't changed the sheets. You see, as a woman get to know you, bro, and I know y'all probably didn't think I was going to talk about this, but I like to give y'all the truth. I'm your big brother. I'm, I'm coming from a place of love because everything that I'm saying, you can address and be better. But we get so comfortable and we stop either taking care of ourselves or we were already comfortable, but now she's able to see up close exactly what's going on. And as a woman sees you don't take good care of yourself, y'all let me know if I'm tripping, ladies. But she'll start to develop a disgust for you. She'll start to see that, oh, he look good, but dang, he got streaks in his underwear. He, ugh. You don't clean your, your navel or behind your ears or your lower body at all. You just wash up under your underarms and keep it moving. Ugh. Look at how he keep his house. Look at, 
He just pulled a plate out the sink and didn't even wash it first. He just rinsed it off and ate off the, ugh. She developed a disgust for it. She, she may withdraw strictly off of the disgust that's now been cultivated by your lack of self-care. I'm not saying, bro, and I believe it. And I do skincare routine. I got all that stuff. Skincare routine, mani petties, all that stuff. I ain't saying you got to be on that, okay? Not every man is going to be on that. I advise you to, but I'm not saying that. But there are some dudes out here who are just straight up nasty, and you think a woman going to be nasty with you in that way. All you're doing is making her say, I don't want to even touch you. You might throw off my pH. So first thing is check your self-care. I know, like, again, this is superficial, but it does matter to a woman. Check your self-care because more than just on a physical or sexual level, she may develop disgust for you that you don't take better care of yourself. If you can't be manicured and all that, man, you at least need to take a shower on a daily basis. You at least need to be careful about getting in those sheets after you done came home from a long day's work and you and your outside clothes. I'm just giving y'all the, the real. Ladies, correct me when I'm wrong. You need to be changing those sheets out. If you can't do it every week or every other week, man, at least once a month, she should not smell how you smell at work on your sheets every time that you, every time y'all get in the bed. She ain't even going to want to get in the sheets at some point. It's going to be nasty to her. Wet wipes. I'm not about to go down the whole list of hygiene. Like I probably do need to do a whole separate conversation, but your self-care is lacking and that's disgusting. The second reason why a woman may pull away from you is because something that you've done is suspicious. Something that you're doing has raised a, a red flag. It's got her intuition looking at you and saying, hold on, what's going on? And you know what? This may not even be something on the forefront of her mind. Like she may not be saying to herself, he's doing something wrong, but her intuition could be picking up on some shifty behavior, some kind of breaking your pattern, some type of misalignment. She hasn't quite gotten the, the articulation behind just yet. Something ain't adding up. Yo, two plus two ain't equaling four. And so when that happens, her body naturally will withdraw from you. Her, en her energy will withdraw from you. It's just like, you know, if you're getting ready to fall or something, you're going to brace yourself, right? She's bracing herself. Because at a subconscious level, she says something ain't right. Something's wrong. Another reason why a woman may withdraw from you is because it has nothing to do with you. It's an internal battle, or at least it didn't start with you. You see, what I've noticed about women is that they can have an internal battle. Everything be going on inside. Everything be falling apart inside. And they still love on people the same way. But that doesn't apply if you make it worse. Yeah, this this one this conversation is really directed at men, but ladies, I need y'all to be the ones to verify what I'm saying and correct me. I'm looking in the comments. If I say something that's wrong, I want to learn too. But if I'm speaking facts, share this so somebody else can get this truth. Because if a woman has an internal battle, it may be just uh, insecurities. It may be grieving. It may be whatever. She may have some pain going on, some inflammation. She don't quite know. Something, to, something internal. Typically, whenever she starts pulling away from you is whenever you make that worse. When you start criticizing her on top of that, when you overwhelm her on top of that, when you overstimulate her on top of that, when you don't care that she's not feeling good, visibly not feeling her best, you still come in and compound and request and demand that you ain't offering to help or do nothing. You ain't asking her no questions to truly understand what's going on with her. Your only interest is that you get her to meet your needs and everything else is fine with you. So long as she do what she wants to do for you. My, Michelle says absolutely going through this right now. Okay. I know I'm talking to somebody. Again, y'all let me know. So if a woman has an internal battle, if it's strictly internal, she may be, and not all women are, but if she's an evolved woman, if she's a grown woman, she may still show up for you the same way that she did before. But if you're making it worse, she's going to pull away from you. Another reason why a woman will pull away from you, she will start to withdraw, is because something you have said to hurt her or something you've done to hurt her that y'all have established was hurtful. She's already let you know. You have not taken accountability. Y'all think because a woman goes quiet or, or she stops arguing with you, you done won the battle. Well, maybe, but you lost the war. Because if you don't validate that woman's feelings, even if y'all don't necessarily see things the exact same way, if you don't even feel like or act like her feelings about whatever it is is valid, and, and especially if you're wrong to where you take accountability, if you ain't able to do that, she's going to pull away from you. Now, why is she going to pull away? Why is she going to pull away from you? Same thing with the suspicion. You're not safe. Your lack of accountability 
over what you do wrong to her registers you now as somebody who's going to do something else that's hurtful. So if you're not taking accountability, again, you may quiet her down in terms of the arguments that you're having. She may get frustrated and not want to keep explaining herself over and over again. But guess what's also going to quiet down? Her affection. Ladies, if I'm speaking facts, let me know I'm speaking facts down in the comments. Another reason, because there's several now. I want this to be a little mini master class for men that do something to push away their woman and don't understand. And therefore, they blaming the woman or maybe they're trying to fix things, but they're doing everything wrong. They're just skipping over the actual issue. Again, if I'm speaking facts, let me know. <clears throat> but if a woman pulls away from you, another reason why it might be because she sees you differently. And you'll notice that there's some intersection. A woman will pull herself away, stop giving you the same amount of love and affection and showing up and desiring energy for you because she sees you differently. Now, this might be because, again, you are suspicious right now. You've changed your pattern. I'm going to tell you some other reason why she might just see you differently. She might see you differently because something you did lost all her respect. Maybe she cares for you as a human being still, but you've lost all her respect. And, and so she sees you as a clown. And for a woman, it's very difficult to unclown you once you've done some clown behavior. Another thing may be that, that will make her see you differently. If you still haven't kept your word or there's a multitude of things you have promised and you have not followed through with. So you're, you're now changing how she sees you in terms of a man of his word, a man of honor, a man that she can trust. Not in terms of, oh, he ain't gonna cheat on me. Trust goes so much deeper than just fidelity. But he says something, but he don't really honor that. He don't really stand on what he says. A woman will see you differently. I'm not talking about one infraction. I'm not talking about one time, one thing. But if this has happened over and over and over and over again, every time that she had to try to learn to retrust you, her ability to relearn how to trust you got weaker. That muscle, as you continue to break down the trust like a muscle, as you continue to tear it and strain it and pull it and overexert it and use it wrong, it got weaker and weaker and weaker. And so now she will pull away from you because she don't even look at you the same. A lot of her being attracted, drawing to you, wanting to be close to you, wanting to talk to you and share with you came from how she saw you. That's why a lot of times as men, we know when our truth is really ugly, but she don't know the truth. She treats us one way, but the moment that we get exposed or whatever, like she treats us according to our truth. Like how she sees you is a determining factor. Another reason. And I'll say this is, uh, I really want to talk about this. One more reason why a woman will pull away from you is because mentally she's checking out, bro. I'm, tell, I'm telling you as a man, she is checking out. Now, all of this stuff, again, intersects. A lot of these kind of go together. But when a woman starts to check out, meaning she is losing hope or have, maybe already has given up hope on the relationship because she's given up on your ability to understand her, meet her needs, care enough. She, she's officially done mentally. She's left already. Whenever you talk now, she's, she may not physically do it, but in her mind, she's doing it. Rolling her eyes every time that you say something. Maybe I got this new idea. Maybe, you, but maybe this is what I need from you. She's rolling her eyes. That woman is checking out and she's going to withdraw from you. Every time you want to touch her, an excuse comes to mind that she needs to give you to get away from you. She's checking out. Now for all of the things that she used to ask you for, she wanted a date. She wanted quality time. She, she wanted this. She wanted that. She was planning for Christmas. She was planning for pictures with the kids. She was planning for trips. Now you don't hear her talking about any of that stuff. She's checking out. Or she may have already checked out. Let me be very clear. There's a process of checking out and there's a process where she is absolutely done. Checking out is whenever she's still working to accept this new truth that feels more reliable and more valid than the truth she thought could be a truth. So checking out is saying, okay, Say, for instance, say if you've established yourself as somebody who lacks the maturity and the compassion 
to be a safe space whenever she wants to talk to you about something, right? Let's say at one point in time, she was pursuing the truth that maybe if she communicated well enough, you could get it, you could understand. Now, checking out is every time she has something she wants to share with you, she reminds herself, mm, no, because the last two years of me trying to tell him how I felt, what I needed, what was going on, this is how he handled it. So she ain't there yet where it's second nature because she's checking out. Checked out is when it's already imprinted on her mind. She's already accepted it. She's already making her next move. Maybe she's still there because of the kids. Maybe because she had been so all in, she had not financially put herself in any situation to make a move away from that relationship. Like she had no plan B, but now she has to get one now strictly for survival. But that's when she's checked out. Like it ain't even a second thought that she want to talk to you, be with you, fix things, go to counseling, hear you out, be heard out. She's checked out. She's definitely withdrawn in that regard. Now, here's the thing about when a woman has checked out completely. And I don't think a lot of us really realize this as men. That's not where she wants to be. That's, that's actually the exact opposite. She doesn't want to be in a relationship with a man that she can't feel safe loving. She don't want to, she don't want to do that. I know a lot of us as men, we like to complain, man. She don't cook. She don't do this. She don't do that. But it's not that she wants to. Women who are lover girls, empaths, man, they want they want a place where they can go all in on their love. They want a place that they can just, I mean, where they want to cook or uh, rub feet or do sexual things, where they want to be googly-eyed. They want to be in lust, in love, in infatuation, all of the things. They don't want no cap on their ability to, to be romantically inclined or romantically drawn to a man. They don't want that. They, 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 want, they want, I mean, they want the the... Absolute, I'm talking the maximum application. I'm trying to find words to really stress this because as men, we can really be dumb at times, like selectively dumb, because we're really not dumb. I, I'm, not, I'm never going to say that about my brothers, but we're like selectively dumb. It's like we really think women get in relationships just to have to hold back the love that they're capable of giving. When in reality, they either would rather have never gotten to that point or have chosen somebody who was worth their love from the very beginning. Either never gotten to that point with you, or have walked away the moment that they met you. No woman wants to go into a relationship and withdraw. No woman wants to go into a relationship and mentally check out. And the reason why I want to clear this up is because a lot of times as men, if we're trying to handle it from that perspective, we're dealing with her uh, willpower. Yeah, you need to do this. You, 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 don't, you don't do what you're supposed to do. It's like, brother, you have not cultivated what you're supposed to cultivate. So when a woman is mentally checked out and she's withdrawing or already withdrawn for some time, yes, the clock is ticking until she's gone. But the reason why is because she's been mentally and emotionally starved. She's been mentally and emotionally starved. Just like a garden that you haven't watered and ain't got no sunlight, she's not producing any more fruit for you. She's not producing any more crop. She's barren for you. And again, it's not because she wanted to get there. And this is what I need all of you to understand. As a woman, especially, if you're an empath, it can be extremely difficult to lead these types of situations. That's why if you're an empath, more than likely you have a reluctance, more than the average, to go try again. Because you remember the last time that you had to pull back, get out of a relationship, and how hard that was, how many months or years it took you not feeling like yourself, that you had to do that. You checked out of that man's or that relationship with that man, but you also checked out of a belief and a desire for any man for a while. And so you know the long-term ramifications of giving your love to somebody who don't deserve it. If you're an empath, and I say empath because those are the ones who have the least control over their heart innately. Like a lot of people, and I, and I used to be an empath, by the way, but a lot of people, they have the ability to, you know, open up, pull back, cut them off, fall back, don't care. But an empath, on the other hand, loves hard, loves for real, loves all in. And boy, once you give it to somebody, it's like hell getting that love out of their hands, even if they don't deserve it. And from there, you may draw up and say, I don't, I don't need to just do this with anybody. Maybe friendships is safer. 
May, maybe just sex. I know some of y'all be, oh, hoes this. No, a lot, a lot of women will have that promiscuity because it's safer than trying to love a man. I'm not enabling or I, I'm just a big brother. I've seen it all. Thousands of women have come across me. Like, I mean, you know, like in my email, my DM, like they let me know this is where they're at. And then you end up being in a space that's also inauthentic to what you truly want. So what I've seen is that empaths suffer the longest from being toyed with, played with, taken for granted. Because of the traps that get set for empaths. Because when a, when a man gets a hold of an empath, I'm going to tell you something, especially if he's a manipulator. If he gets a hold of an empath, he knows she doesn't have the same tools and equipment to shut herself off. And not only shut herself off from that man, but he upgrade to the next. When it's time, because I don't think a woman has to leave a man and go to another man. A woman will leave a man for herself or her peace. With no other man present. But it spares the ego of the manipulator. If even if he does lose you, he doesn't have to see you go on and upgrade to somebody else. But see, that's where big bro come in. That's why I come in. That's why I equip empaths with the tools necessary to not only avoid those types of men, but also bounce back. Because you deserve to be loved too. You deserve to feel safe in your relationship too. You, de you deserve security too. You deserve to go in with no trust issues because now you know how to discern the real from the freak, the liar from the pretender, uh, and, and the pretender from the real. You know how to discern. That's the missing key. So whenever you know what traps to look out for, you know how to get around those traps. Stay out of those traps. When you know what traps have already been set for you, you know how to get removed from those emotional and mental and spiritual traps as an empath. And I went in on what those traps are. There's seven main traps, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, that you can get caught in, especially if you're an empath, that can thwart your blessings for years. And I broke it down. I made it simple to understand, actually. For about an hour, I broke it down in my free master class. The seven traps empaths should never ignore. If you see in this link right here, that means, especially if the page loads, there's still a chance for you to get access to that master class. Get access now before it comes down for good. But this is why I do what I do. Because you guys aren't innately equipped from a man's perspective. I don't care if it's me or somebody else, by the way. I offer this for free for a reason. This is not a paid class. It's not a paid course. This is a free master class. But wherever you get it from, you need a trusted male who's going to hip you to modern day game strategies that a lot of men are out here playing. And the, the games are primarily being played today with the empathic women. These manipulators don't go after the savages. They don't even go as much after women who, who again, are lover girls, but they would love somebody else like that. They don't go after them. <laughs> that scares them. But a woman who, once she loses or fails, quote unquote, at one relationship, takes months or years to heal, that's what they go after. And again, this is why I equip y'all with the strategies to be able to bounce back. Because you deserve to have your back blown out in a relationship with a man who's also emotionally meeting your needs and doing way more than the bare minimum. You deserve that too. I'm getting carried away. <laughs> more of the story. For my men who are going to watch this because you just wanted to tune in or a woman has shared this. And she's trying to help you get hit before it's too late in your situation. Maybe y'all together, maybe y'all ain't. If a woman is withdrawing from you, if she's pulling away from you, my brother, understand something. This is not her plan from the beginning. That's not how women work. We, we a little different, but that's not how women work. She wants to love. Now, if she wants to love you, it has a lot to do with how you treated her. The version of her that you're getting, whether she's pulling away or drawing to you, has everything to do with how you've invested in her. If it's been inconsistent. If it's been one facade after another facade. And smoking screens not backed up by any action. You can expect her to say I'm done. And don't get confused by her physical presence still being there. Because a woman leaves mentally long before she leaves physically. If you feel like that's facts. Hit the share button. So somebody else can also get this true. Um, I'm your internet big brother per usual. Just looking to add value to you guys. I stop what I'm doing. I spend my energy doing this. Again, this is free of charge. You ain't got to pay me nothing. Because one, 
I want to be one less weapon for the enemy who is against the cohesive family. Two, I know somebody somewhere needed to hear that message at that time. But there's also people I can't reach by myself. And that's why I ask you guys to hit the share button. If what you heard today was true at all. That's all I ask. Keep your money. But hit the share button. Pay it forward to somebody else. And if you want access to the master class. The seven traps and paths must never ignore. My free master class where I went in on how as an empath you can date safely, securely, and bounce back. If you've ever been played with. Again, it's free. The link is right here. I'll let y'all let y'all be good. But jump on over to more. I think it's about an hour.